So, okay, let's talk about your book. Um, yeah. So if, if someone really wanted to learn the ins and outs of digital evidence, I'm curious, where would you recommend starting? And I hope that as part of this recommendation list, you're going to tell us about your book too, but Absolutely. just kind of big picture, how does your book fit in into helping somebody learn more about this space? And then what are some other resources you would recommend? Yeah, well, I've already gotten um, a, a really, um, you know, special review from somebody from the FBI. I had uh, somebody within the industry, within the e-discovery space come to me and say, hey, I shared this book with my my child and now my child may want to go into forensics too. So to that's me, that's great. the ultimate compliment, right? It's giving people a, a, um, a view of what to expect. I have all these college students, university students, even on the grad level come out and they, they just they haven't had a chance to actually touch evidence to actually understand, like, what do I do on day one? Like, how do I go about this? Cause you can study about this in school and you can learn all the theories and low cards exchange theory and MD five hashing and metadata. But I tell you what you need to know, because when I started in this field, uh, I thought I was getting involved in forensics and I, I was told, you know, we're an e-discovery company. Are you okay with that? And I said, uh, sure. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Day one, you know, everything that I learned in school was kind of out the door. I mean, I learned about crime scenes and everything else. So what I do here is give you an understanding of what e-discovery is, what forensics is, what options you need to think about from a, from a forensic examiner's perspective, from a lawyer's perspective, from a legal professional's perspective, from a PI's perspective, anybody who picks up this book is going to understand what they need to know and what they need to ask and who they need to speak to. Um, yeah, and that's, that's why I wrote this because that was a gap in the industry for a long time. The people that, that I learned from or the people that basically formed the, the discipline of digital evidence, digital forensics, so I took it a step further and said, hey, I've been working corporate, you know, uh, with corporate uh, companies for 20 plus years and law firms. Let me teach the, 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 the next generation a little bit about the overall picture, a chain of custody, documentation, how that goes into both of the law enforcement, public world, private world. So my book is out there. It's brand new. Um, you know, it's getting a lot of traction with both the, the law firm side of it. Um, where else can you find me? I, I, I write for PI magazine. I write on the cutting edge uh, topics in my cyber sleuthing column. I approached uh, Jim and Nicole a couple of years ago and said, I have an idea. I want to write about forensics, digital forensics topics on, on things that PIs need to know. And they said, that's a great idea. So every issue I write on those topics, you know, that are really important that I keep on top with. I just wrote a thing on uh, cryptocurrency. I'm writing another one um, with my interns at Sandline uh, on uh, lab accreditation, digital forensics lab accreditation, all topics that people want to go to a trusted source. Somebody is actually doing the work that can, you know, relay the information to them and understand kind of their needs as well from the mm -hmm. PI's perspective, but just anybody's perspective. Like this is important stuff to know. It's, you know, you can go to Robinhood, Coinbase, you can buy crypto now. What do you need to know about crypto? Who do you call, right? I mean, you know, th these are all questions. Forensic Focus is another great resource. They're a great website that has a lot of professionals in the industry for a long time that vet the information that goes up there. Um, it's really, really a, a good resource. Um, EC Council, um, which, which you mentioned, I'm part of their board of advisors. I'm doing cyber talks with them uh, continuously. I have one coming up next week, uh, May 13th. And, you know, that whole um, organization vets their stuff. Even when I write stuff, they, they read through it two or three times, um, you know. But I think the first step is take a look at um, all those different resources and see if there's any symposiums that you can go to as well. I just did one with Dr. Uh, Henry Lee, uh, people from Celebrite, uh, uh, Parabin, um, uh, Cloud9 was there, um, Forensic Email Collector. Uh, I have all these kind of relationships from over the years 
that we all came together and shared our knowledge for a day. And I think the, the charge on that was $25 for students and $125 for adults. And we gave a whole day training. I mean, that's, that's amazing to hear from people that are on the cutting edge of, of forensics and really we want to encourage the next generation. So we put on these events and I personally sponsored that with uh, Henry Lee and, and myself and, and uh, put that whole program together with them. So yeah, really that's awesome. Opportunity. Well, it's so great to meet professionals like yourself that are willing to share from experience and provide like practical hands-on. This is how you do it. Uh, that's really refreshing. And so I just really appreciate your time. Rob, today, taking time to talk with me. And if any of our less listeners would like to connect with you or learn more about your book, what are the best ways to do so? Sure. So you can find me on LinkedIn. I think my profile name is Robert B. Freed, F-R-I-E-D. Um, you can look at my book's website, forensicsbook.com. I still don't understand how I got that, that uh, <laughs> website address. Um, and you can also email me at uh, rfried, R-F-R-I-E-D, at sandlineglobal.com. S-A-N-D-L-I-N-E-G-L-O-B-A-L.com and also rob at robfree.com if you just want to reach out to me uh, in general and ask me questions. Happy to always be of help. Well, great. Well, Rob, it's been a pleasure and we'll make sure to link to your contact information and your book website in the show notes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great to be here today.